Hello guys, welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, as you should be able to tell, I made it to the King of Games. Um, so I wanted to do this on stream, but on stream I was having absolutely no luck. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to see if I can do this off camera. I'm going to get to King of Games. I'll record, um... Uh, the replay of the final duel getting to king of games like I'll, I'll show the replay and stuff like that as well as i'll show you the deck that i used literally to climb all the way from legend one all the way up it is a dark lord deck they are still tier one they're really good i faced so many invoker decks element saber invokers and we got a server error well that's depressing please tell me i'm at least in king of games still Oh no. <laughs> um. Huh. Well. Can I can I back out? No. Okay. Yeah. We're at we're at King of Games. That's super nice. Uh, we got our reward of two hundred gems. Hip hip hooray. That's super nice. But let me show you the deck. We are using Destiny Draw Dark Lords. Now this is probably the second best option for Dark Lords in terms of um, tier lists, right? In terms of quality. I think Destiny Draw is probably your... It probably makes it like a tier 2 deck rather than a tier 1 deck um, because you can't constantly recycle your uh, Banishment of the Dark Lord using Kyber Court Bling. Uh, but overall, it, it's still good. You can only use it once per duel, which is the biggest downside. Um, but basically, once your life points have decreased by 2,000, you can draw any card that you want, right? So, that's pretty good. You could draw... Um, well, I'll get into that in a second. I also did happen to use Draw Sense Spell or Trap in a couple of the duels prior to me even getting Destiny Draw, and that did turn out pretty good as well. However, it doesn't work as well if you have things like Cosmic Cyclone or whatever other tech cards you so chose. But, yeah. Uh, anyway, I wanted to talk real quick about this deck. We're running one Lava Golem as an out for uh, things like cockatus and other such things and i kind of wanted to think huh i, I kind of thought to myself huh what if i did instead a destiny hero plasma so i might do that in the casey cup to see if that actually works a little bit better because that's more of an out to cockatus and i found that so many people were playing invoked um and cockatus and purgatrio and earth or uh M mage lanica I can never say that correctly. Mage Lanica and all of those things. Uh, this is really helpful. Uh, or um, Destiny Hero Plasma is really helpful for that. Because it just sucks them up. So, uh, I'd probably use that. I'll probably be using that to see if it's better than having Lava Golem. But, we'll see. Uh, then it's double Nastin, double Tez, one Amdusk, one Ukubak, Superbia, one Desire. Even though I spent so much time trying to get a second Desire, I'm only running one, because I realistically I only need the one. Obviously triple Ixshell, uh, triple Banishment, double Cyclone, Dark Lord Contact, and Sanctified Dark Lord at their limited... Uh, Capacity. However, the Cyclone, you could technically take it out, but I found that the biggest the biggest thing that was difficult to deal with as Dark Lords were, excuse me, were back row cards. Anything that had to do with back row. Um, so that's why I said Cosmic Cyclone is probably the best. There was a duel that I had against a Metaphys player, and he set two trap cards, and I happened to play Cosmic Cyclones on both of them, basically negating his entire combo because he couldn't do anything with his trap cards. So, Cosmic Cyclones, really good. Um, I got, uh, I got, you know, two of them through a, one through a Dream Ticket, and then the other one was through the, like, $5 deal that you can get, um, 
you get like 10 packs of the newest box as well as a cosmic cyclone and a bunch of vagrants um so yeah but destiny draw is used normally for banishment or lava golem you get banishment to search for a contact a sanctified a desire a ickshell but also to put it into the grave or you grab a Lava Golem for uh, to kind of out yourself if you have something else on the field that you can't quite deal with uh, to kind of get rid of it. There were a lot of times where I would use Lava Golem and then swing into Lava Golem or, or use Desire's Effect to uh, destroy it, to send it to the grave, or what have you, right? Just so that I would basically be able to get rid of what they had on the field because I didn't have an out other than that um, but if there's a invoker player that just decides to sit on one Kokaitis then you kind of have an issue because because um, then you have to rely on Sanctified Dark Lord and there were a lot of matches where you know Cosmic Cyclone would come out and my cosmic or my sanctified dark lord would get banished and so i'd have to immediately use it on something else and um there were a couple of times when i won without the sanctified dark lord and there were a lot of times when i didn't sanctified dark lord being limited to one was highly detrimental but it's still uh it's still really good so uh try and protect it if you can if you can't that's understandable, but uh, yeah. So, Sanctified Dark Lord, really good, obviously. Um, but yeah, let's hop into the duel that I had to get to King of Games, because that's, that's a, a duel. All right, so here we're up against Bones, and here we go. We're hopping into the duel. We get to go first, winning your gainer rank. That's super nice. Um, all right. So here we don't start off with the best of hands. We have Tez and then all three of the Dark Lord spells. But we can grab ourselves up an Ixshell to uh, send Sanctified and Ixshell to the grave. Grab ourselves Ixshell. Banishment, search for Amdusk. The reason I searched for Amdusk is because we did draw a Superbia and I wanted to put Superbia into the grave and grab up my contact so that I could contact next turn and special summon another card onto the field just so that we can basically flood the field as soon as we can. So I do that, grab up contact, and then he disconnects. <laughs> And I'm sh I I know for a fact that it wasn't this person seeing my field or seeing what I was playing and choosing to leave. This person actually disconnected because it you could tell because it was saying attempting to reconnect and then it went away and then it said it again attempting to reconnect and then the the duel was forfeit. So that's how I got to King of Games because of this duel, right? And I really wish that Konami, this is going to now be a short rant about Konami's ranked system because it's awful. The fact that dual links in all of the ranks, except for legend, you can't demote. That's really bad, right? King of Games not being able to, to demote from King of Games, that's understandable. You made it, you're fine. I am totally okay with that, right? However, we'll get into that in a second. All of the other ranks, once you get to, like, say you get from bronze to silver, or from gold to platinum, or something like that, it makes sense to not be able to demote back a little bit, right? So that you can actually stay climbing and trying but once you're in that rank system or rank setting uh once you're in platinum or or legend or what have you right you should be able to demote legend you can demote right you can demote all the way back to legend one and i think that should be the case with all of them because right now it's too easy 
to get to legend and it's too easy to get to king of games sorry i just hit my desk it's too easy to get to king of games king of games right now is a mess because there aren't a lot of people that or specifically legend i should say is a mess because there are so many people in there of such varying degrees of skill for example i am brand new to the game right more or less right i i didn't really know a lot about the game prior to this so when i was able to get to when I got to Platinum, my first season, after not really playing any ranked, um, which you can see not through this, but through my profile, which, um, yeah, like, I got to Platinum my first season, basically. Uh, and I did not play many games. I played a few, and, and I got there, and it was nice, and... Uh, but I didn't really push that hard. I didn't really try to climb. And then the very next season, I got all the way up to King of Games. And it wasn't that difficult. And I'm still new to the game. I should still be learning. I don't think that if you have someone who played as much as I did and played how I did get to King of Games in their second season... That's that's got to be something wrong with the rank system. I am no prodigy. I'm not that good. Like I, I'm, I'm obviously better than a majority of duelists who play this game, or at least I have spent the money and the time and the effort to get the cards necessary to build decks that are better than most of the decks within within this game. But realistically. I don't think that I am worthy to get to King of Games. Or at least I wasn't, right? I got there playing Ancient Gears, which were still super good and still a tiered uh, a tiered deck. And I still think that they are probably one of the best within the ladder, just because there are so many people who don't know how to play against them. Um... So you can still play Ancient Gears and get to King of Games, no problem. There are so many different decks that you can use to get to King of Games. I have tried out so many decks that people did get to King of Games with. And uh, it's just... It's, it's almost too easy. And then, on top of that... King of Games itself, having no ranked system past that, having no ranking past that means that you get a lot of people who are trolling within king of games or um like when i got to king of games last season i started to play more experimental decks because i wanted to see how good they were for example i played a deck that was junks but it was like the recommended junk deck that they give you within the game and it's not something that actually was at all any good it's this one it's mark of the dragon head with this like look at this deck this deck is not good but i was playing it in king of games because i could because there wasn't a consequence for it i wasn't going to demote i wasn't going to to have a really low rank i wasn't there was no point to try and get like first place global because that doesn't matter um and so overall i i in the survey for the i forget what it was um but for this last survey that we were able to take uh Hmm. Ah, here it is. No, 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 no. Where is it? Shop maintenance upcoming. No, 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 no. I don't know where it is. It's not showing up. But there was a survey on here about one of or transcend gaming to that event, and in there it said. What else can we do in the future to help improve your duel links? 
experience, and I said fix the rank system. I basically just said, please fix the rank system. It's really bad. Um, make it so that you can demote within every rank other than just legend uh, so that the climb actually has some meaning and and stuff like that and give us a rank in king of games and that's basically what i said uh so i doubt konami will listen to someone like me who's just another player but if more and more people ask if more and more people tell konami about this hopefully they do but that's gonna be it just wanted to show you guys that I got to King of Games and kind of go on a little rant about uh, about ranked. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy. If you did, a like is very much so appreciated. And if you want to see more content like this, just be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to always stay frosty. Bye-bye.